wonder what surprise Will's got for us this week. <laughs> hey. Hey. There we go. Oh, he's got a flat. Is that a flashing light on there? Oh, no, it's just red. Uh, sugar free mints, sugar free mints. Well, yeah. welcome oh. back, everybody out there. Great to see you. Check now, out I'm the bins. odd one out. Sorry. Well, look at this. I'm the odd one out with you, lot. <laughs> Hello, <silly>. caller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Apple, Apple earphones are so 2010. It's such... <laughs> Everybody, uh, you can see we've got the lovely Mr. Will Murphy, we've got the lovely Carl Horton, and I am absolutely thrilled to say we've got the fantastic Neil Simpkin rejoining us. I'm glad we didn't put you off, Neil. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> fantastic boys, how are you all? All good, thank you. Good. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed that uh, these guys got bins. <laughs> I feel, I feel, finally, I feel like... You know, I, had, I had been envy <laughs> over, over many weeks. I thought, do you know what? I've just got to join it. And actually, they're, they're not even mine. They're Jack's, which is you know, <laughs> sits on like his computer. I'm going to stop like doing that with the, you know, the airplane. And you're ready to take off. Uh, <laughs> have a very pleasant day. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> Another thing from lockdown we never knew was going to be a thing. Head yeah. Head ah, head. Absolutely. How about that? Absolutely. Right, boys, let, let's have a little bit of a debrief on what the first week of February has brought to you us all. So, Will Murphy, with your new bins, in, tell us all my about new, your My week. new borrowed bins from a 10-year-old. <laughs> um, well, I, I guess I'm considerably poorer after paying the uh, HMRC, but there you go, we'll gloss over that. So, um, yeah, apart from that, it's been pretty busy um yeah i'm just glad it's friday one of those weeks you know just felt pretty hectic yeah, sure. lots of lots of driving working everything else but saturday is start of the six nations so i am <laughs> happy. i've got some i can see an extra big smile on your face Will, actually. i've got some international <laughs> rugby to watch nothing else to do for the weekend so that is me <laughs> sorted yay phone off Everything off, beers, <laughs> beers off. telly. In fact, a few of them, <laughs> I think we've got a kind of Zoom kind of get together because you know we've missed that sort of having the boys together in a pub watching watching some rugby. Oh, so yes. we're going to like everything else, do it virtually. Yeah, why, why not? not? Why Excellent. not? <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, what about you, Mr. Carl Hall? Wow. How's your we week were talking just before we got together, weren't we? Uh, interesting, yeah. I, I uh, you know, I know. I, I used to travel to Wales with a bit of trepidation because you know they, they were lovely. the yeah, they were the Catholic. Not in, not not because the people, but because <laughs> the COVID. And uh, yeah. you know, yeah, fear again. Stop the Welsh, Welsh thing. Exactly. And then uh, on Wednesday, on my way home, suddenly find out that um, you know I live in uh, Variant Central. With the South African strain, <laughs> you know, kicking in. Like, what? And it's two people that have never travelled. Um, apparently, it's yeah. so. There was a mass uh, uh, testing. Um, so traffic apparently was at a standstill just down the road from us. I found out that there is a South Northfield, which I didn't know existed, um, <laughs> on the national news. You know, if you're in from South, and I thought, well, am I in South? South Northfield? Yeah, yeah. Royal so, Borough uh, of South Northfield. Royal Borough, Royal Borough, the Northfield Spa. Yeah, excellent, lovely. Um, and it's, it's divided. Yeah, if, by if you the... don't know where it is, then you'd really yeah. <laughs> just, just, just believe us. It's, <laughs> it's the other side of the show garage, apparently. <laughs> uh, I guess the Bristol Road Divide, and and of course the virus can't get across that dual carriageway. Um, so we're all safe on this side. <laughs> yeah. Forget the north south yeah. divide. It's the the Bristol Road Divide is the uh, is the big <laughs> big issue in this country. <laughs> So that 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 was uh, yeah that was interesting. I caught up with a a really good. Um, well, he, he was my mentor. He was my uh, VT trainer, um, and then my boss for many many years, Giles Perrier. And uh, we caught up with a with a phone call. It was great to talk to him um, and see he's his granddad now. So congratulations, Andy, oh, who's his gosh. son, and Danuta. Congratulations, and uh, you know a big shout out to Giles. He was a big big influence. In my formative years as a dentist, professor? he is a professor. Professor Emeritus, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, drinking. 
but it's uh, such a, a lovely chap, such a font of knowledge as well. So, you know, it was, it was good to have a chat with him, albeit virtually. Um, so I look forward to catching up with him properly uh, as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, just uh, lots of lots of kind of little Zoom calls, sorting out um, some upcoming courses. Did a little uh, webinar on research papers. So that was, that was good fun. And we're developing that. Um, and, and then, yeah, you can't do anything else, can you? Really? That's that's it. Nice. Any, uh, any big cases this week, Carl Horton? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Might have been. Yeah, yeah, a big, a big, um, big, big case today. So a big case. Yeah. Very nervous uh, patient, but a very, very big smile on the way out. So. Yay. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. He did well. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Full arch immediate loaded case. Yeah. And uh, very, very right. so nervous that he had neglected his dentition to the point where there were just little carrier stubs, unrestorable. Um, and he, 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 you know, he uh, walked out with a big smile on his face, did really well. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, great shout out to all the team and everybody that um, just made it a very smooth process. Who was your um, technician that you want to give credit uh, to? Phil, Phil. It was um, Garen and Phil. Um, so Dental Excellence that uh, that were, were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, tweak, tweak things uh, as we went through it and, and just turnaround was superb so th these things sometimes they can they can be a whole day but these guys the the techniques they use they can uh, just just turn it around uh, in, in you know less than an hour sometimes it's just wow. something yeah. tweaked today took a little bit longer but yeah feels yeah. just so calm though isn't he you know <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Work, i'm not saying that people sort of run around headless behind the scenes but you guys know what i mean and phil just delivers this most beautiful bridge and it's just we're going that is absolutely amazing he goes oh yeah thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> brilliant yeah it was good it was, it was really really good yeah i take my hat off to those guys absolutely stunning very much so what about you then mr simpkin how's your week been um a week like any other really i was reassured to hear it was friday i've kind of lost track of what <laughs> what day what month what where whatever it is at the moment they're all kind of blending into one but uh but no, we're, we're back to full speed and have been for a, for quite a while now. I mean, I've got the advantage um, in Newtown of um, having extra surgery space so we can flip between the two. So from uh, July, really, we've been um, back up to full full pace, which is starting to feel a bit strange now. But you know what? We're, we've cleared backlogs. We're back to normal now. The dyer is looking looking normal, which is in a way slightly comforting, I suppose. It's not just constantly dealing with toothaches and backlog from months and months ago. Mm. So mm. it's uh, it's good. What um, sort of practice is it now? Um, it's my dentist, um, Advanced Oral Health Centre, um, but just general practice, really. We um, we have Carl visiting um, every couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, I do most things. I do a lot of short-term orthodontics. We do accept referrals for um, endo and uh, minor oral surgery as well. Uh, so yeah, just just a general practice, but um, with a, with a with a bit of a tweak here and there, we do seem to have quite a good reputation amongst those of us who work there that uh, people will pass stuff on to us quite a lot. And is it NHS mixed? Uh, predominantly, predominantly private. We've got a small NHS contract um, for, as a bit of a throwback to the old days. But the NHS in Wales is undergoing a an interesting reform at the moment. Um, which some people seem to be keen to embrace, but uh, there's certain aspects of it that, uh, yeah, we'll need a bit of ironing out. All of a sudden, UDAs, UDAs don't seem quite so bad at the moment to me, but there we go. But, uh, but well, that's encouraging to everybody. <laughs> but yeah, but my, my contract's small, so it's, it's a, to be honest, a pretty much a negligible part of the, of the practice portfolio. So uh, we'll just sort of tow the line and let it tick over to be honest but no pri uh, private and and have been for for many many years so all good but yeah short-term orthodontics is taken over i think we've had about 12 12 13 patients in this week um inquiring it seems to be a quite a big area um post lockdown people staring at themselves on zoom mm. all day and okay. seeing what their teeth look like and uh, <laughs> thinking you know what i've been on furlough for six months nowhere to go nothing to spend let's go and spend it on my teeth so it's a uh, been been quite a productive few weeks to be honest is that something you push or have you advertised or no no um, we've been doing their way in 
yeah we've um we are we have got a social media presence nowadays which has trickled a few through but i've been doing aligners for 15 years so uh, we've got quite a, a good base already and just hundreds and hundreds of cases having been done previously the word gets out there and um and get there so we, we don't push it because like i say we are a general practice so we have all the other stuff to do as well but we could quite conceivably i think with a bit of a push become almost exclusively short-term orthodontics given the amount of time it takes up at the moment mm -hmm. but uh, i'll keep my hand in a few other bits as well <laughs> <laughs> to be fair neil when you were saying that uh obviously last july um you guys were back if you were ever properly away to be fair yeah true you yeah. were very you were very quick off the mark, really, as in my dentist, I would say, you know, they really were ahead of the game of getting their clinicians back in and supporting their teams, weren't they? They have been very good. Um, I mean, corporate is as corporate does. I mean, some people like it, some people don't. But you know what? I think I'd, having uh, friends and colleagues who work independently, it's hard. I've seen them still struggle now uh, with all the extra mm -hmm. levels of thing. My dentist really did all they could as quickly as they could to get us back to work. I mean, obviously it was in, in their benefit to have us working, but they, um, they've been really, really efficient at it. In my opinion, I, I can't really fault them on this. They've got um, purifiers into every practice in the country, every surgery in the country as quickly as possible. They've got the fallow times under control. Um, it's hard to fault them on, on the sort of logistics of getting everyone back and going again. Um, I say we've, we were able to run out of two, if not three surgeries, certainly in the early days of coming back. And there was there was no issue. And, and suppliers, masks, gloves, it's ne it hasn't been an issue at all, really. So, no, it's, um, say it as you find them. But it's they've, they've done. I, I think they've done pretty well on, on this as well. And especially dealing with four different scenarios with England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, all having different yeah. plans in place. But as you said, okay, thankfully, in Wales, the CDOs had an a modicum of sense and let us stay open all the way through to deal with emergencies so the backlog wasn't quite as as bad for us as it was for guys in england who had to literally close the doors yeah mm. we didn't worry too much about that at the time did we or, 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 <laughs> or perhaps we might have ranted just a little bit i can't remember just, 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 yeah. just, just a little bit yeah it all started isn't it yeah. It, it became the, the weekly <laughs> rant rather than the weekly exactly nighttime right. webinar. Yeah, we'd be wiping think. the froth off the screen, you know, when we were, when we were just shout, <laughs> shouting at our laptops, you know. Yeah, you, you, you're very humble there, Neil. I think, I think, uh, that, that was, that was uh, I mean, you know, the, the, the practice... And and again, the, my dentist did seem to get there. The, and he said something else for a second. <laughs> stuff, that stuff together uh, quite quite quickly. And uh, mm. I, I thought that was, I thought there was you know I don't know whether you want to mention it, but there's another role that you've kind of taken on board. I thought we were chatting about. Um, yeah. So um, the, the one thing I, again I'm liking about the uh, my dentist um, corporate aspect. I mean, I've been a corporate dentist for over 20 years now so i've seen lots of it from different angles some have been good some have not been good um but my dentist even especially now with everything going on with the sale by carlisle group i mean i can say that's not that's not secret news they've been trying to sell or um or get reinvestment i think is the posh word of putting it from other sources <laughs> <laughs> for, for a good couple of years um so there's lots going on behind the scene, but the, they're keeping things going, keeping momentum. And as a result of that, um, one thing that corporates can be very, um, uh, I'm trying to think, can think of it. one thing they often do is they'll push ideas. They'll, they'll The business side of the corporate will say, this is the next big thing. You're all going to be doing this, all going to be doing this, all going to be doing this. Um, and it just kind of filters through and the clinicians are going, no, it's not happening. And then they've invested huge amounts of money and time and in marketing and it just doesn't work so what they have done is they've taken on a clinical panel so they've got the clinical directors which is great but they tend to as their job role increases they drift away from face-to-face -face practice and uh, kind of forget what it's like at the coal face a little bit so they've taken on myself and and two or three others so not a huge number of us but a few of us across the entire state as as a statewide um, clinical support managers to focus on these products that come in. So they'll come to us. They're saying, we've been approached by this company. This is their product. What do you think? Have a trial. 
go on the course, do a little bit of a pilot for us. And then they are listening to our feedback and, and reacting to it already. And I've only been doing the job since the start of January, but it feels like they are the business and the clinical side are starting to merge together, which is uh, quite rare for a corporate in my experience. So, yeah, yeah so, so far, so good. Enjoyable. Well good. done, Neil. Well yeah, done. Yeah, well done, mate. They've got a good uh, good candidate in you. I've got to oh, be bless honest. you. Thank well you very done. much. Uh, what, <laughs> sort of, what sort of stuff do they um, do? They push or what idea is not Viagra. Like dresses, <laughs> dresses, dresses, cartoon characters yeah. Yeah. or sell um, other Pfizer products yeah <laughs> of course yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> um well basically loads of companies come up with new ideas um they obviously uh, they're very much in bed with Strauman. Again, that's not a, a big secret. My dentist and Strauman are working very, very closely together. Strauman will take other companies from across the world under so the same umbrella, and they're trying products in the UK. One of the ones that I'm piloting at the moment is a product called Genova, which basically is a fi- is a removable fixed appliance. So it's um, an aligner with a wire attached to it. So they section the aligner and it's got a wire so the teeth can move in separate directions and it's supposed to speed things up. So Strauman are trialing that product um, via ourselves in the UK. And there's a couple of other my dentist practices involved, as well as a couple of others just independently with Strauman. So they're pushing that idea. They haven't sort of gone all in saying, right, we're doing aligners. We're going to push this in. Strem want us in it. Everyone's going to do this product. So they're actually using us to trial things like that. Um, and, the, and there's other – every, everyone's got an idea. There's all sorts of things around uh, cos, uh, composite veneers and different products that offer that, and they're looking to see if that fits within the brand and, and, and all sorts of that. So loads of companies approach my dentist on a, on a monthly basis um, with their next big idea. Uh, and my dentist in the past have invested big in these and some have really, really flopped, um, but taken a massive investment and time from my dentist. So they've, they've realized now that the business, as we all know, spreadsheets and extrapolation of numbers is all very well and easy when you'd actually have to put it into reality. Um, so they've actually mm-hmm. taken on a few of us to, to, to see how it works in reality. And then, and then they are starting to listen to the feedback. So it's a, a very encouraging sign and it feels good to be a part of it's one of the things about corporates has always been a frustration is you can do this you can't do this you have to do that um whereas now they are actually trying these products out in the field and listening to the feedback more importantly which is which is great yeah what's the reason why they give feedback isn't yeah, it? That's same, great. Sounds good, mate. Sounds yeah good. looking forward to it yeah yeah Check i bet that. i Slides. bet it's funny you should say about um uh just going back saying there's no problems with getting PPE and different things because only today the practice we were speaking to today they're they're struggling mm. still aren't they yeah yeah oh, we yeah, were saying to yeah. them what they said to us yeah there's quite a few so, that have mentioned that um they're struggling to get certain things not just PPE but things like irrigation lines no. um you know certain certain components implant <laughs> components little bits things like that you know exactly. but we don't we don't want to go down that road otherwise we're going to go down the old Brexit route. <laughs> <laughs> Will, oh, no, Will's no, gonna no. like explode. He's been <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brexit, COVID. It's a perfect storm. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, but there you go. We got our sovereignty back, didn't we? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> leading the way and filling in paperwork at the board. Yes, wave your flags, everybody. <laughs> yes, there you go. Get That's in. the side of the fence. But we've still, we've anyway. already seen. <laughs> We've already seen it, though, haven't we, in um, um, components being delayed coming over and uh, little, even the tiniest little bit that would just arrive in a heartbeat and how it's different now is very odd, very <clears throat> odd, especially when it's coming from a non-EU country to a non-EU country. Where, <laughs> but anyway, oh, there's, a reason like that, say, there's a reason that Bezos has uh, stepped down from CEO of Amazon. He's just had enough. Brexit <laughs> put him in. All the form <laughs> filling. Yeah, I've had enough uh, of that. You know, just, oh, they, they, oh, I can't <laughs> be bothered with it. It was going so well. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, forget your forget your billions. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you're 150 right, billion. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> what, yeah. Jack, Jack, you can deal with that. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, oh, yeah well, should be all right. Should be right. So, in, in, in the news, obviously, this week, yet again, we hear more about uh, the vaccines. So, some people are certainly favoring uh 
one vaccine, I think it's fair to say. Uh, which so is, is are, are you like lots Oxford, of like careful. Oxford, yeah. Careful. Oxford, yeah. <laughs> careful. I think I think Neil's got a little bit of uh, Pfizer in him. And yeah, I'm not talking about, not talking about it. Quite <laughs> yeah, clarify quickly, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was when you said in bed, when you mentioned in bed, then you said straight. I thought, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, all these joining the dots, huh? Yeah. No, no, I, keep, I, was... I keep looking at that Newman because they keep talking about stuff, don't they? they it, it's certainly Newman. I, it took me a while to figure out it meant new man. <laughs> uh, oh, and then so when they do, uh, they're selling, yeah, they're selling the, they're selling the regain. Uh, which apparently can oh, I think that ship has sailed, mate. Right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, need, for both of that drugs, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, and the, uh, you know, discreet comes in. I wonder what a discreet package looks like. It's just just to actually find out what the package looks like. <laughs> makes me tempted to put the order in. So, I wanna, you know, it does. so when it does yeah, arrive, yeah. Even, I, even I'm going, well, what's this? I, I don't remember ordering anything like that. And then, then opening it up in front of the whole family and then kind of going, ah, oh, uh, yes, yeah, Seth. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, let me explain. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. if, if, somebody, if somebody says this is for you, but it's in a very discreet package, you'll be like, Do you know what? I'll open it later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll just put love honey on it or something like that. Oh. Be, be easily disguised. Surely it's got to be the obvious, like the brown paper bag kind of thing. Mm. Isn't that go, what go Tricare, traditional? Isn't that what TRICARE deliver their implant components? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh, okay. um, it's in the news that um, they're trialling mix and match vaccines, aren't they? Which clearly yeah. means that um, they're running out of some supply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they need uh, some great bit of science that might just be fudged to tell everybody that it's fine to mix and match them. That's well, I heard on the news yesterday they were saying, "Well, Ebola, it, with Ebola, we mix and match. We just basically stick it, <laughs> stick anything in, whatever we got." Yeah, go, that's all right. <laughs> stick that yeah. in. Works with Ebola. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> we'll find out yeah. in about six months. Yeah. Oh, well, I had Pfizer back in December, and I'm due. Well, I haven't had my letter for my second dose yet, but yeah, I'd happily experiment with a, a shot of the Oxford. Has, has anybody yeah. tried um, like an antibody test after the vaccine just to see? Yeah. No, I've, 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 I'm positive, but they don't know what the titer level is for for antibodies. So that came back from the COVID study, and that I'm still positive for antibodies. Gosh, that's um, quite a while late. That's eight, yeah. eight months or so later now. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so that's they're still good. still the little guys are still in my. Well, it could it could be good. I, I thought about it several ways because I've obviously you know I, I think about these things for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought. Okay, well, it either means one, you know, I'm doing all right and my immune system's kicking in, or two, I'm really bad at um, how I deal with my. Don't take this seriously, by the way, anybody's listening. But <laughs> my PPE, and I seem to bump into a lot of patients that have COVID, but I generate yeah. the antibodies. You've so actually had it about four times. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just keeping the antibody levels really high because <laughs> I'm so bad at uh, my, my cross infection and uh, PPE. I or, can't, or, can't or, think why your mask you isn't fitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Followed all the instructions. It's a mystery. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just some leakage, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Unless you've got a very quick growing you beard and you're clean shaven every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I had both of those, thanks. Or it's a stick-on beard that you only put on on a Friday. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you start losing your hair, Carl, at least you can just do that and go... Yeah. 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 I'll just flip it in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, well, we've... Uh, I mean, say it again. I said, uh, cheers all. I feel so welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but no, saying? Will, in okay. answer to your question, no. Go on, Neil. No, that's all right. Carry on. It was just, it was just banter. So, I'll just uh, say to, uh, um, to Will, no, I haven't had an antibodies test. I've thought about it. Just out of uh, interest. I've seen mixed reports as to how effective the results are. Which which ones the antibody results or the uh, vaccine or both? Oh, from yeah, from people who've had the the vaccine and then gone for an antibody test and 
Yeah. Some some people seem to have it. Some people don't. So I'm not quite sure we truly have the mm. full details of how the vaccines work and what sort of response it's supposed to generate, really. But well, we had yeah. some little testers. You know, the ones where you just prick your finger and drip a bit of blood on it. Um, and is it specific to COVID, or does it just tell you you've got certain immunoglobulins? floating around that's the bit i didn't understand about it mm. carl you're clever and a scientist you'll you'll know specific <laughs> to covid so it's how co- how? how do Are they we... make how do they make things like that how do they make things like that right so they 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 figure out what spike it is that they're going to um sort of test for so there's, there's more than one if you like oh. and then they design a how can i put it they design uh, an immunoassay test, yeah, thing <laughs> that will pick up on the proteins that are in that specific proteins that are in that, and they can do it several ways. So one's like an agglutination test, and it all kind of agglutinates the other one. So it hit, hits a marker. So if the markers are in there, it'll it'll either change colour or it'll a bit like a pregnancy test, like you know, similar similar to that, but a bit more specific. Okay. So, so it's 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 looking for a certain protein that yeah. uh, that will then convert it. Well, I wasn't uh, pregnant last time I did. That. I know yeah, that was the. But you couldn't. You can. The thing is, is the accuracy of that uh, is is debatable because there are certain proteins that can also kick it off that can be present. Mm. So it's 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 fairly specific, but not that accurate, and that's that's where the issues have been in in what's been going on in some of the tests where they're they're testing to see whether it's not necessarily an antibody test, but they're testing to see whether you're COVID positive or not. Uh, the lateral flow tests obviously are better. Uh, and the antibody tests when they're taking your blood are even more accurate. So the accuracy increases uh, as, you, as you kind of step up. Uh, but again, the expense increases and the difficulty in testing increases. Uh, but as that goes along, it'll, it'll get easier and cheaper. Um, um, but then then it'll be pointless because we'll all be... <laughs> yeah. We'll all be um, on holiday. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 So this, the sale of pregnancy tests are going to go through the roof this weekend because everyone's going to see if they've got COVID. Well, <laughs> we won't. I'm not going to mention say that. I'm not going to say a word about that. <laughs> I've done my bit for humanity. I'm sure that there is uh, a cross crossover between pregnancy tests and prostate cancer. I'm sure that I read that somewhere. That you, oh. you, you if you man, uh, do you know what? I could be talking absolute <laughs> crap, but I'm sure that I've read. You haven't got. You haven't got sales shares in pregnancy tests, have you? <laughs> no. Uh, Dodge coin and GameStop, I had. <laughs> but, but, you know, but not uh, not pregnancy tests. <laughs> you know, there we go. Oh, 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 those poor hedge funders. You put yeah. That <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Well, no one think of the hedge funders. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh well. And Jeff Bezos. These poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> just out of curiosity what's happened to trump i haven't heard much about him lately uh, he's know. waiting his impeachment i think oh is, is that going to happen is it i think so i think it's happening next week isn't it is it it's next week so I, think so. I think it's on the card yeah yeah i think so that'll be more entertainment the whole world of politics is very quiet isn't it really at the moment you know? <laughs> yeah yeah now the, uh, experiment's over so going back to um the old vaccine and everything else. What's uh, if we were going to pluck a date or a month out of the air and say, when are we back to normal? Well, we haven't. I mean, percentage wise, table. percentage wise, it's we're we're not we're not that high. Well, no, I say we're not that high. I think we are. Israel is first in the world, isn't it? For its percentage of population that have been mm. vaccinated. I can't remember. It might, is it United Arab Emirates that's second? Yeah, we're third, and we're third. third. Aren't we? Yeah, we're third. So we're third, but that, we still haven't vaccinated a, uh, a huge amount of our population. But I think that was the last time I was listening. It was eighty percent of the over eighties. Mm-hmm. So you know, if we if we and that's pretty fast. So if we get the twenty percent done, then stuff everybody else. We're fine. <laughs> They're all right. Hello, <laughs> back up again. <laughs> if you are listening again, I don't mean it. <laughs> I, am, I am just joking. Before the professionally uh, outraged. So I, 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 Prediction-wise, I think probably we're going to see schools open up uh, March. Uh, uh, wait till March. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And then I think some normality is going to probably be uh, end of summer, I'm afraid. Yeah, I mean, I have um, I test out those uh, vaccine calculators that you see and when are you most likely to get your vaccine. Um, encouragingly, in Wales, I put, well, in both cases, I put myself in as a, a fit 25-year-old and uh, I, I never was, so it's a bit of an <laughs> yeah. But it, as, as a fit 25-year-old with no... Fit 25-year-old female, please. <laughs> yeah, but with, with no health risk whatsoever, so right at the bottom of the pile. Um, and in Wales, it says that I will have had my first vaccine by the end of April um, in the Welsh calculator. However, in the English calculator, it does say, suggest September for the first September. vaccine. For the first vaccine. <laughs> The first vaccine September time. Oh, yeah. blimey! So, yeah. yeah, so so really, for the for the whole bulk of the population to have been, we are talking the end of this year, aren't we? Twenty twenty two is where we're going to be up and running again. But I think certain parts of the country with the small populations, you know what? Summer summer stands a chance. Yeah, mm. I'll have a PlayStation Five okay. by then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on? <laughs> so how, how's homeschooling going? <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, we haven't got long enough. Can we talk can about mute, Brexit? Can I mute his <laughs> mic? You're probably best to mute mine. Sure, it's, it, sure. Go on. It's going. No, it's going. Let's let's just think, say that. I think some schools haven't dis- discovered this uh, this thing, um, and it, I mean it is difficult. It is really, really difficult for the schools to uh, figure out how to use a mobile phone and. <laughs> <laughs> Type in the word Z O O M, and uh, um, have, have that open whilst they're uh, schooling the four or five, six maybe children that uh, are there that uh, are, are critical care workers, and just have the phone hovering in the background because you've got GDPR issues, and it's the same in data, isn't it? <laughs> so I, I do understand. Again, have I? Is there anybody I haven't offended? <laughs> I do get the idea that that might be so difficult to actually like deliver the lesson that you've already did going to deliver mm. over Zoom to the children that may have been in your class, mm. uh, and 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 you know that that must be very very hard to do. So it's much easier to uh, cut yeah, and finish. paste the PDF <laughs> and then send that either by email or actually don't even bother doing that. Upload it to a site where the parents have to download it. <laughs> <laughs> for them, for their children, then to go through it, and and I mean, I've got to be honest. Some of those questions, some of the English things, I I I have to kind of pretend that I know it, and then kind of get me from it. And you can Google, <laughs> what you know, what what what's conju- conjunctive? Pre- <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. And, and some of the mathematical equations, I'm like. No, you know. What's well, the do way I... they do maths now? I mean, it used to just be adding yeah. two numbers together, and now it's, oh, you yeah. break it down into tens and individuals, yeah. and then, then yeah. work out what bits are missing. And, no, just just add it up. So and great, like... mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. And yeah. the thing is, you don't want to get your kids into bad habits, and I'm sure people out there are going to relate to this, because how I would work out the answer is so different to how my kids have oh, been yeah. taught, mm, yeah. and you're so worried to teach them your habits because they'll be equally confused. Do you know what I mean? I'm not worried. My, my ways are much better. I'm not having no <laughs> problem with that. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I, I make Seb uh, wear a school uniform so when he's at home. So he has to get it. And then, you know, get, he has to... Yeah, get he has in the zone. To, yeah, he has to be dre- dressed <laughs> at home a half eight school uniform. And if his tie, if his top button isn't done up and his tie's a little bit sloppy, gets the cane. The cane. <laughs> Ain't it? Good old school, proper old yeah. school. Det- detention. Detention. That's. Long I mean, lines. he's had detention every day this week. Yeah. Detention means he's got to go to school for the week. <laughs> yeah. You pretend to him that he goes to Eton, and then you give him a gown and a mortarboard, <laughs> <laughs> and make him wear that. He can go, go to a different a school every week. School, young man. Yeah. 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 Next week you're at Grange Hill. Grange Hill. I like the Irish Grange Hill. We're going to be Tucker Jenkins. Love Grange Hill. Yeah. School of Hard Knocks. Absolutely. Even my age away. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely brilliant. Oh, blimey. Well, gentlemen, we have reached no that way. time. That we really flowed. have. Yay! There we go. The worlds of dentistry to write, I think, somewhere. We <laughs> have. And schooling and the sales of pregnancy tests we have gone up. Cover everything. <laughs> <laughs> New man or whatever. 
<laughs> this is fantastic. Well, all of you, thank you, Neil, a massive thank Absolute you. Absolutely, yeah. anytime. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure yeah. to have you uh, back. Uh, Mr. Cole Horton, Mr. Will Murphy, thank oh, you once thank again. You. Great to see you all, and I uh, hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Yeah, cheers, all. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.